Dog lovers know there are countless ways dogs comfort, help, and heal. And tonight we have learned they are our allies in a whole new way. They are best friends in the search for a cure for cancer. To tell us about it, here's ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. In the war against cancer, the cavalry is Speak wagging up. its tail. This is Dutch, a beagle mix. In August, he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. His cancer is the exact same kind as seven-year-old Peyton's. Yeah. Peyton's meeting Dutch today because, incredibly, they're both being treated at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And the cutting-edge treatment he's getting could help kids like Peyton. The dog's like their little cancer partner. Dutch is one example of sort of a brave new world that these dogs are blazing for us. You can really take a dog who has cancer and learn something about a human with the same type of cancer? Absolutely. Yes. Remember how one dog year equals seven human years? That's a huge advantage researchers have in studying cancer in pets because you can learn much faster if the treatment is working. His prognosis wasn't very good. He only had six weeks to live with that diagnosis. Six weeks? Six weeks. And how long has he lived? He's now close to six months. Dr. Terry Fossum created a registry to link sick dogs with clinical trials. They don't have to create disease in animals. They can use these animals that have gotten the disease naturally, and they are going to be more predictive models. And even the National Cancer Institute is supporting dog-to-human research at 20 centers. Hundreds of dogs helping us study everything from melanoma to bone cancer. We could use the same types of immune-based therapies that we want to apply for humans and understand whether or not they work in the dog. It's a win-win. Roll over. <laughs> An even bigger win for patients like Peyton. Thank you, Dutch. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News, Houston, Texas.